What's up, guys? How you doing today? You're rocking out with the one and only Philly Dom. What's going on with you guys? It's uh, early morning out here. It's, mm. it's 11.30 in um, Salvador Bahia. And, um, you know, I'm maxing relaxing. I just wrote a little bit of, you know, I'm working on my second book now, so I'm writing. I just wrote another chapter on the book. And the first book should be out this week, man. We're pushing hard for it to be out this week on Amazon. It's out of my hands right now, like I said before. Everything is done on my head. I'm just um, putting the, the cover picture together that to, we you know what the cover's going to be. And check some other stuff, and it should ready to go. So let's cross our fingers. Better be out this week, man. I'm really pushing for that because I wanted it out by Friday and the day is Saturday. But it's all is all is good, all is well. What's going on with you guys today, man? We got an interesting subject to talk about today. I'm not too versed in the subject, but um, yesterday we did a live. People were talking about um, what is it? Uh, they were talking about um. Brazilian Portuguese is easier. Some people said it was easier to learn than Spanish. What do you guys think, man? Let's talk about that today. Since I'm here in Brazil and um, Philly Dom, you know, is not too good at the language. Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese, but I'm, I'm trying, but I'm not good at it at all. So, what, you, what is your guy? What is your take on the, the language situation? Do you think it's harder? To learn Portuguese and Spanish, or Spanish is harder than Portuguese. And then I got some, you know, clip notes in here that I um, can bring into the discussion as well. But I want to know what your guys' opinion is on um, on this subject matter because it, it was like a big debate yesterday on the live regarding this. Um, what I think and what I've read, it says it depends on a variety of a variety of factors, such as like the the person that's learning the language. What is their native language? Like, obviously, my native language is English. On um, their prior experience with language language learning, somebody like me, I'm not good at learning languages like that. I'm not the best at it, not at all. I'll be completely honest with you. But I think I need to put more time and effort into it, and I think I will be better. And something else I'm reading here is the their level of motivation. Yeah, if I I think I can learn Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese, 100%. If I put the same effort I put into uh, the YouTube channel, I believe so. I'm trying to get this light together. But what do you guys think? Just watch as you talk to me. Flexu said, "I'm proud of you, Philly." You're a real dude, 100% keep it, keep the good work. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. Yes, indeed, man. I like to say that again. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. That's true, Flex2. Shout out to my boy from Sudan. Shout out to Flex2 from Sudan. And then we got Status Boom in the house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. What's going on with you guys? We was gonna try to talk about um Brazilian Portuguese today, but you know, my lives we can talk about any and everything. But it was a big debate yesterday. And some people were saying that Brazilian Portuguese is a lot easier to learn than um Spanish. My opinion, Spanish is a lot easier to learn. It's just um I'm used to hearing the language even when I was, you know, in the States most of the time. I grew up with Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Cubans. Um, you would hear the language all the time. So my whole life, like my whole life, I heard Spanish my whole life. So you pick up words here and there, but um, Brazilian Portuguese was like completely a different, 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 different beast to me. The only time I heard um, Brazilian Portuguese is when I went to, when I moved to Florida and I was in school down there. I had some people that went to school for, with me that were from Brazil. And I also had a, a good friend down there that was living in Boca Raton and she was from Brazil. And that was my first time encountering um, Brazilian Portuguese, like, you know, in my face. Obviously you see stuff on TV and YouTube and stuff like that, but that was my first time. So it's definitely a different, different language. Uh, let me read some of these um, 
He's Mr. Status Boom X said, keep grinding hard, keep a strong mind, and keep massing, champ. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate the vibes, man. Like I said, Status Boom, you always been there for me. Flex Tube, you always been there for me as well, man. 215, you always been there for me, man. I appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. Matter of fact, I need to make Flex Tube a moderator. No, I did something wrong. I still need to make him a moderator, even though I did that. Uh, there you go. Flex Tube is a moderator. 215 said, Good morning, brother. Keep working hard. Thank you, man. What's going on with you, 215? You working today? What's going on with you, man? Let me know. Let me know what's going on with you, my brother. And then Matt said, I took Spanish in high school that was simple, simple base of easy words and sentences, structure, especially the verb, conjugation, help, and minimize when starting to learn Portuguese before um, before my trip to Brazil. So Matt, how's your um how's your Portuguese Portuguese going right now? Are you picking it up? Do you feel like it's harder than Spanish? Give us your give us your take on it. But yeah, you Matt, you definitely got to learn some Portuguese down here in Brazil because you're not going to find many people that can speak English like that. I mean, you can in Rio de Janeiro and um, Sao Paulo, and I think um, in the South, Florida, Napoli. If I'm saying it right, I apologize to my Brazilians if I'm pronouncing it wrong. They speak Portuguese. I mean, they speak English. A lot of people there speak English, but not many people, um, once you go to like Salvador Bahia and places like that, not many people speak um, English. So you definitely need to know some degree of Portuguese here. That would make your trip a lot easier and be able to maneuver. You don't know, like when I go outside, man, you got to focus in because you got to communicate with everybody. And just imagine you communicate with everybody and nobody speaks the language. It's kind of, it's kind of, um, it gets a little, it gets a little frustrating. Like, I, and I was telling people on the live yesterday that, always like google translate man it, it, that get old man it gets old man it gets old man it gets old man i'm telling you so it's better to do what matt is doing learn some of the language like i said i'm guilty of that not learning a, a little bit of the language before i came 215 said um i'm off hanging out with my daughter man cool vibes man cool vibes 215 i like to hear that man cool vibes that's what's up champ Flex tool said, I like guys like, don't forget to show some love. Cash app, money sign Philly Dom 75. Yeah, appreciate you guys. Yeah, I have a cash app as well, man. Let me put 215, put it up there. Let me put it up there. The cash app as well. And also, I have a Patreon now, guys. I have a Patreon. I have a Patreon. I have a Patreon. You want some exclusive? Um, footage go to my patreon because you know on youtube you're limited to what you can say and talk about i can show more and do a lot more on patreon so um you guys should um subscribe and sign up to my patreon i would greatly 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 appreciate it and that would help me out a lot but you know portuguese language is definitely to me in my opinion is, is that's a different different type of vibe with this language man the language is definitely different it's a different 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 type of vibe let me see. I took some notes. So, you know, that's how to organize this live a little bit. Um, what else could I say? Generally speaking, this is from my notes. However, it can be said that uh, Brazilian Portuguese usually is more difficult to learn in Spanish. That's what I believe. I believe that 100%. I have my boy, uh, LaQuinta Fox. He was saying that uh, Spanish is a lot more harder to learn than Portuguese. But from my travels and being here in Brazil for a couple months, I've noticed that um, Portuguese is definitely different. Sometimes when they, they speak to you here, it sounds like they're talking German to you or another European language. Sometimes it sounds like they speak in Spanish. Sometimes it sounds like, I don't know, the language is all over the place, man. The language is definitely all over the place, man. What do you guys think of that? But that's, that's my, you know, from my notes I'm reading, I, to me, is 
was difficult. Um, let's see what you guys are saying. Make sure you guys get a video like, you know, support the channel in any way you can. And please, guys, if you can, share my videos on any of your media platforms. I would greatly appreciate that. Mass at Portuguese is a little bit harder. Okay. There are more Spanish words that sound more similar to English words, so that makes it easier. I went to Rio and uh, our karaoke accent, sometimes hard to understand. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. That's true. That's true. Yeah, you're 100% right about that, Matt. And then Juan said, if you speak Spanish to a, a good degree, yes, indeed, Portuguese becomes a whole lot easier. I agree on that because the people that can speak some Spanish, it works. And I see my uh, my, my friend here, Master Wayne, he speaks some um, he speaks some Spanish, and um, it helps him with the Portuguese. I noticed that. It does help you. However, it's still hard. Yeah. <laughs> so even if you do know Spanish, it's still hard. Yes, I'm glad you would say that and be honest. It is still hard. There's a lot of words that are similar that mean different things. You're 100% right. You're 100% right. It is a lot of words that are similar but are actually different. Yeah, you're 100% right. Say it again, Juan. Say it again. And Trey said, not too hard. It's the contents of the language and the content of, um, was it? Conjunctions and the conjunction. Cadence and conjunctions. Okay, cadence and conjunction. Hold on for a second, man. Hold on for a second, guys. I'm still here with you guys. I'm just doing something on the back channels of YouTube right now. But make sure you guys give the video a like. I mean, give your opinion. You know, here we interact with each other. It's just not me just talking a whole bunch of stuff. I want to hear what you guys got to say. You guys are way more important than me, man. I want to hear what you guys have to say. But don't forget, I have a Patreon, and I would appreciate if you guys would join the Patreon. That would mean a lot to me. Also, let me put my Instagram here, too. Might as well get all of it in one take. Right here, I'm just copying and pasting real quick. Here we go. The Patreon. We had to talk about the language thing. How's everybody doing today as well, man? How is everybody doing today as well? Let it let me know. Let the one and only Philly Dom know. How are you doing today? I'm still here. I'm trying to uh do a little post. And I hope I didn't knock it down. Oh, yeah, that's my own Patreon. Hold on for a second. Uh, Juan said, if you speak Spanish too. Okay, I read that one. D said, plus they have a lot of slang terms and sayings that also make a challenge. Yes, indeed. I noticed with the um, Portuguese, a lot of people, Brazilian Portuguese, a lot of people like cut the words. Israel said, hi, brother. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Then find this and find uh, what is that? Iron in the building. Finding iron, iron in the building. Shout out to the iron. And one, two, three said, You hear Spanish all the time in the United States. Hearing Portuguese is very difficult and trying to understand it is different. Yeah, like I said, in the States, we always constantly hear um we hear Spanish, so you can you can pick it up. You know, I lived in Miami. I lived in California, even growing up in Philadelphia. Like I said, a lot of Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Cubans. So I was constantly growing up hearing that language. So it's not, it's not, uh, hold on, guys, I'm still here. It's not as difficult to me as the other, um, as Portuguese. But Portuguese is just like a, a new beast. Shout out to Finding, watching from Kenya. Shout out to Kenya, the whole Kenya. Shout out to IMI, where and all of them. And um, Finding, cool vibes, my brother, cool vibes. Uh, Black said, Philly, you must learn Portuguese. I'm trying, man, but I need to try harder. I, I, mean, I know it sounds like a cliche, crazy line I'm saying. I'm really trying, man. If you plan on staying in Brazil longer, long term, especially if you're planning on investing in a property or business, yes, you need to know the language. I wouldn't tell nobody to invest nothing here unless you know the, really know the language a little well. You can speak it a little bit or you have a good lawyer down here. 
but you're 100 right but i'm trying man i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying I'm trying but i need to try harder bon dia bon dia that's good morning bon dia bota bota good afternoon but no good night i'm trying Kami sensa excuse me a scooper i'm sorry sorry but um yeah it's um it's different down here man the whole vibe is different um what else can i say about the language man it's just it's a rough language and i'm not you know you can talk to brazilians but i tell you it doesn't flow like spanish flows spanish flows like Ooh. brazilian portuguese is all over the place and then i'm finding out that the portuguese that they speak in brazil some of the words are different from the portuguese they speak in africa and in portugal so it's a lot that i'm learning you know it's a lot to learn man when you're dealing with these languages definitely a lot to learn man definitely it's definitely a different type of uh let's say it's a different type of beast man but it's it's learnable because i, I met a couple brothers here that speak it pretty well so you it's definitely you can learn the language definitely it's not impossible to learn a language don't forget i got the patreon subscribe to the patreon if you want to get some more information about a lot of topics champagne max said what's up champ sock say to you champagne max champagne haitian max in the building shout out to champagne haitian max in the building much love to you man juan said portuguese also has more sounds than spanish interesting the letters are pronounced in five or six different ways which is why Spanish speakers sometimes can't understand them too well. Interesting. They understand us better. Let me read that again. Juan said, Portuguese also has more sounds than Spanish. The letters are pronounced in five or six different ways, which is why Spanish speakers sometimes can't understand them too well. They understand us better. Interesting. 215 said do you plan on leaving living in brazil eventually no not right now man i gotta go to um i, I gotta go to belize and i'm um, el salvador i gotta take care of the situation with my, my son in belize i gotta get that under control man you know it's always heavy on my heart so no 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 my um my home base for now will always be central america will always be central america it will always be central america and it will be probably el salvador because that's the closest country to belize so i can go back and forth like i've been doing but no brazil i love it this is my favorite country without a doubt i don't have to guess i don't have to think about it this is definitely my favorite country the people the food the culture i just like it man it's just really laid back man you know a lot of people like colombia I never liked Columbia there to live. I never liked Columbia. When I've been there a couple of times, I've been there. I never, it never, I, it never sold me to live here, but I can live here, yes. Could I live in Brazil? Yes, but I have bigger fish to fry in Central America. Stuff I have to deal with over there, and that's more of a priority, and I got to get that situation under control. Once that's under control, then, you know, I can move around a little bit more, but Central America puts me close to where my son is at, so. Well, he's in Central America, but that puts me right there. So Central America is like my home base. Central America is definitely my home base. But I can live here in Brazil. Definitely, I can live here in Brazil, without a doubt. Without a doubt. If I didn't have some other situations going on, definitely this would be a 100% the place I can live. I've met people that have been to over 100 countries, and they said they like this place the best. So it's interesting what Brazil has, why people like it so much, and it's crazy. When I talk to all my Brazilian friends, they want to get out of Brazil and live in America, live in Europe. They don't like it here. They don't like the country like that. It's crazy, man. Uh, JB said, yo, look, looking at um, Florida, um, Annapolis. Yeah, they speak a lot of English down there, too, in Florida, Annapolis. JB, you should definitely go, man. My boy Richard from L.A., he went. He went to Florida, Annapolis, and he had a good time. He said it was amazing vibes. It was amazing people. Everything was going smooth. He said he loved it there, man, in Florida, Annapolis. So it's definitely one of the places worth checking out. Uh, JB said it's all about the experience you're having. Yes, indeed, man. Yes, indeed. I agree with you 100% on that. 
Don't forget I have the Patreon. I'm going to keep pushing that. And don't forget I have the clothing line as well, guys. If you want to get some merch, I have the clothing line as well, man. Support your boy Philly Dom. You see me wearing the Philly Dom hat. I'll make sure I wear them in all the videos as much as I can. Uh, JB said, are there beautiful women there like in Rio and Baja? JB is beautiful women all over Brazil, man. JB is beautiful women all over Brazil. You should sign up to my Patreon. Because I can talk about stuff like that in a little bit more detail. Like I said, on YouTube, you're kind of limited in what you can talk about and what you can um, get into. But yeah, I appreciate it. That's the link, man. I'll put it there again. Go to my Patreon and uh, we can have these discussions and I can talk about, you know, different subject matters that can't be really addressed in deep detail on YouTube. But shout out to YouTube. I love YouTube, man. Also, guys, make sure you give all my videos a like. Share my videos. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay. Uh, JB said, okay, seven a month. I got you. Thank you, man. I greatly, greatly appreciate it, man. Yeah, man. And we can talk and I can give you guys a lot more. But as a matter of fact, I recorded something yesterday I want to put on uh, Patreon. Definitely. I got some other stuff I want to put on Patreon as well. Uh, let me see what else I can talk about with the language situation. Uh, Cuts, what's going on? Great, great morning. What is the status of your book right now? Um, we're just getting the cover on there. We got somebody designing the cover for us, me and Master Wayne. And, um, you know, they're putting it into a book form or whatever, how it should go. After that, it should be a go. When, um, when I see Master Wayne a little later today, I'll ask him about it. But it should should look at me it should be out this week it shouldn't go this week the book should be on amazon i'm gonna really press hard and hope you know and pray that everything works out that this week it'll be on amazon so you guys can purchase but it'll be out the book is coming right now and i'm writing another book as well i'm doing my thing big shout out to i adventures in the building ivan adventures in the building ivan i ventures in the building what's up philly all is well chat what's going on with you man how's everything going with you man out there in maryland close to dc how's everything going with you man let me know i have ventures talk to me chat talk to me 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 got my brazil jersey on and everything everything's good coming back Everything is good coming back. When you coming back to uh, Brazil? When you coming back to Brazil? When you coming back to Brazil? Amazing co country, man. Get back before they uh, start the, uh, what you call it? You got to get the visa. How hard is the visa process, I Adventures? Because a lot of people ask me about that. I mean, what you, do you literally have to go in? to a, a Brazilian embassy to get the visa, or can everything just be done online? Acquiring minds want to know. And also about this um, Brazilian Portuguese and, hold on before I talk about more about the, the language thing. I have to say, it's going to be easy online from what I heard. Okay, okay, okay. um 215 asked a good question what is the best time to travel to brazil from me being out here for a couple months i've been here for now i would tell you to come in the summertime like around january because it's the weather's a you know hot you know what i mean when you travel you want when you travel out of your, your country and you come somewhere you want to go somewhere where the weather is warm at for the most part some people don't care about that but most people want the weather to be you know comfortable and everything so i would say anytime after christmas january through january through may january through may and also you will catch the carnivals 
and they have the carnivals all over the country but obviously the biggest the two big carnivals are in rio de janeiro and um salvador bahia where the, the carnivals in originated from that's where it started at that was the first one that's why we have carnivals in the caribbean and all that and other places it was originated there and south other places in south america but it was originally there i eventually said it's going to be easy but yeah i'm gonna say january through may that's just my opinion though that's when it's the weather is hot you know what i mean their season is different um 215 from our season when it's cold here it's hot there when it's hot there it's cold there like if you're from the states, you know, if you're from Europe or another part, Australia, it goes different. But I would tell most people, man, January through May. January through May. That's just my opinion. Cuts, I appreciate you as well, Cuts. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Cuts. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Let's go back to this. Uh, well, I took some notes this time. Like I said, I took some notes. Uh, like, I, like I said in my notes, I said it can be said that Brazilian Portuguese is usually more difficult to learn. And I agree with what I said there. It's definitely difficult to learn compared to Spanish. Okay, and then I, you know, I had to Google some stuff, look up some stuff. So I said here, one of the primary reasons for this is that the two languages have different um, grammatical rules. For example, like with Brazilian Portuguese, nouns are, are gender or adjectives. Must The nouns gender and adjective must agree with the gender of the noun. They are modified now that they are modified. Whereas Spanish nouns are not gender and adjectives do not need to agree with the gender of their nouns. Additionally, Brazilian Portuguese makes more use of the, um, what's it, contractions than Spanish does, making it more difficult for non-native speakers to understand. Did y'all hear that? Additionally, Brazilian Portuguese makes more use of the, what's it, contractions more use of the contractions than Spanish does, making it more difficult for non-native speakers. What do you guys think of that? I got a whole list of stuff going on right now. Um, cool cats at Philly live with family for six months and have have them speaking Portuguese to you only. Oh, he said live with, well, yeah, that would definitely work. Probably on the next go around, the next trip. 215, thank you for the Patreon link that's the patreon link family and then jm said bro i don't even think you speak spanish stop being a hater jm i could i never said i was good at spanish when did i ever say that jm you always bring the controversy man and i appreciate you for that i've never said i spoke if you would if, if i spoke in spanish you would hear me like how check speaks in his video speaking spanish how ace law speaks in his video speaking spanish i don't speak good spanish like that i understand a lot I can communicate with people in Spanish. I never said I speak good Spanish like that, JM. But I like the controversy. Bring it on, my brother. I got love for you. At best, I think you just know a basic stuff that the one that the one week vacation tourist knows. Therefore, how can you compare if you don't speak either one? I can listen to the language, man. I know people here that speak the language that speak Spanish and Portuguese. And all the most of them tell me that Spanish is a lot easier for them to learn. And then I have some friends that never even learned Spanish and just went straight to learning Portuguese. So it all depends. But I travel. I'm on the road. Jam, I'm out here. I'm in these countries. I can tell what languages is harder and which languages are easier to learn. Trust me, Jam. I picked up one or two different um, skill sets on the road. And Portuguese is definitely... A lot harder to learn and i knew this before i even started talking to you once i started once i landed here and i came here and i'm like hanging out and i'm listening at the bars and the restaurants and the malls on the bus and the ubers and i'm listening i'm like hey this is a little difficult language because the language the language is all over the place sometimes it sounds like they're speaking some spanish other times sound like they're speaking german sometimes it sounds like they're speaking some french some or some other European language. I'm telling you, the language is all over the place. 
But I appreciate you, Dan. I like your energy, man. I like you, champ. I like you, Jam. Give me some more hard questions to answer, champ. The one said, uh, Spanish does not have gingers as well. The thing is that the gingers some, sometimes are different. A tree, what is it? A tree? A tree is a male in Spanish and female. A tree is a male in Spanish and female in Portuguese, for example. Master Wayne in the background, guys. Yeah, Master Wayne in the building. Let me see what else what I have with these notes. We're gonna keep going on. JM, I need you to be highly. I want you to anticipate. No, not what I say, not anticipate. I want you to ask me much questions as possible. Okay, another factor that makes learning Brazilian Portuguese more difficult than Spanish is the pronunciations, JM. Brazilian Portuguese has a different inventory, meaning that many of the sounds in the language will be unfamiliar to those who are used to speaking Spanish, JM. <laughs> I'm going on about. For example, Brazilian Portuguese has a uh, nause nauseated like vowels, which Spanish does not have. In addition, the, um, what is it? The stress patterns in Brazilian Portuguese are different from those in Spanish, making it difficult to recognize how a word should be pronounced, JM. <laughs> Oh God! I knew he was gonna respond back to that, JM. I knew that. I knew that. Let me see. Um, Juan said Spanish does not have genders as well. The thing is, the genders sometimes are different. Okay, I read that. So JM said, "Why don't you hire that Portuguese teacher that was?" Oh, um, um what is it, Dre? Dries, but Dries, my boy Dries, TV girlfriend. No, I'll probably, if I um, had somebody teach me Portuguese, it would be Jess up in um, Sao Paulo, down in Sao Paulo. It would be Jess in um, Sao Paulo, JM. That's who I would probably get to help me learn Portuguese. My brother, Charles, what's going on with you? When did they send you your flight ticket after onboarding? I don't even understand what you're saying there. When did Charles say, when did they send you your flight ticket after onboarding? What, what flight ticket you talking about? Explain yourself a little. Well, if somebody understand what he's saying, um, I'm kind of slow sometimes, so help me out so I can understand what's going on. Uh, let me ask Master Wayne about the book since y'all keep asking me. He said, what's going on with the book? Uh... Uh, he wanted to know whether or not you could uh, send him over a better picture, a more clarity. So that picture is kind of fuzzy. Uh huh. So if you wanted to be clear for your book, yeah, it's going to be a little bit better quality. I mean, can we take a picture today on your phone? You got a good phone. We can send him that. We'll send him. Okay. Yeah. So he's worrying about the picture quality. I sent him a picture, but he wants one that's a little bit more clarity. So I'm going to have to figure out another picture. So he can't use that picture. He's saying he can't use that picture. He can, but if, if we had a better picture, it would make a better color. Uh, all right. Maybe later on in the day, we could try to take a picture of something. I mean, that's the one I've been using with the YouTube and stuff like that. Oh, man. I, you know, I don't have the top-notch phones either. But we can take something else. We can take another picture and see how it does. But he's working on it. All right, well, we can probably try to send him one today then, man. Don't forget to sign up to the Patreon.
how many people in the chat speak Portuguese or a certain degree of Portuguese? Probably not that many. And if I ask how many people speak Spanish or a certain degree of Spanish, everybody probably in the chat would say they know a couple words in Spanish. Let me see what else I could tell you about this, the language situation. I mean, we had a big debate yesterday. Now y'all quiet as a church mouse. Yesterday we had a big debate about the language situation. My, my boy, uh, my Quinta Fox said Portuguese was a lot easier to learn than Spanish. And people were telling him Spanish is a lot easier to learn than Portuguese. So it, it was, it was crazy. It was a lot of stuff going on. Let me ask Master Wayne something else. Could he use like a um? Could he use? Hold on, um, Jam. I'm gonna ask you a question. One second. Let me ask Master Wayne something. Could he use like a cartoon picture of me? Would that make it a better quality? Because I do have a cartoon picture of me as well. I mean, also, you can use any image, but uh -huh. like, you want to make sure that it pops and people look at it. It's gonna pull them in. So you know, okay. the book is side by side with the other Amazon books. Uh -huh. Out and makes the person like, say, okay, this cover looks interesting. Let me see if the title is about. Let me see what the book is about. Okay. So that's how you set your set apart. Huh. It's like when you see a group of women, uh -huh. and only one is fine, and the other others are yeah. okay, you automatically are drawn to the fine. That's true. So you want to make sure, okay, we can figure it out. If not, then, man, I could probably have them gamble and go along with it, but we'll figure something out. Okay, JM said, how do you you order food if you don't know the language. It's easy, man. Sometimes when you go to the restaurants, they have a thing called a menu. And you look at the menu. And sometimes the menu is in English. If it's not in English, then you translate it into Portuguese. But since I've been here so long, I only eat a couple dishes that I like. So I eat that over and over. I eat frango, like baked. Frango is, is uh, the word for chicken. It's chicken. Frango, and I eat baked chicken, and I eat that over and over and over and over. So I order that a lot. If not, you just look at the menu, and you just Google translate it, and you find out what dishes they have, and that's how you order. But like I said, you want to get away from using Google Translate all the time, because I don't know, it just gets irritating after a while. It's better just if you can, you know, be able to communicate with them. So that's what I do. And then some places you go there, they have pictures. So I just say I want this one. And they give me that meal and I pay for the meal. That's how it goes. If I'm going to like a little bodega spot, a little corner store restaurant, they got pictures. And I just take a picture. I mean, I just point to the picture of the meal I want and that's the one they give me. And then sometimes you, you get lucky and the, um, the hostess or the, the waiter speaks a little, a little bit of English or can understand you and everything works out pretty smooth, JM. I hope I answered your question. Charles said, I don't... Okay, I don't finish my onboard processing, so I'm just waiting for my flight ticket. Oh, you talking about Alaska. I'm glad you made it clear. See? Somebody else about Alaska. <laughs> Alaska. Oh, Charles, you talking about Alaska. Okay, do I finish my onboarding process? So I'm just waiting for my flight ticket to go and Alaska to start. Yes. The way you said it, that's how it goes. You do your onboard processing and then it'll give you a ticket. And then if not, it'll give you a reservation and you can go to the counter and they'll give you a ticket. What, co what company are you gonna work for up there in Alaska, man? What company are you gonna be working for in Alaska up there? Let me know, champ. Noel said coming, coming in July for a month is gonna be rainy every day. Um, I guess you're talking about Brazil. I know it rains a lot right now in Rio, but yeah, it could be. It, it rains a lot sometimes. Okay, JV said, okay, cool. Oh, Tracy Unplugged. Good morning, Philly. Tracy Unplugged, how's it going with you? How's everything going with you on this early morning out here? It's, uh, well, it's 12, it's 12 p.m. for me, but if you're in the States, it's probably 11 p.m. or 10 or nine or eight depends on wherever you at 
And my boy Charles said, I'm working for E and E. Okay. I've never even heard of them. Tell me the full name, E and E. I've never heard of them, but the one good thing is, you, okay, food. But it's one. the good thing is that you got a contract with somebody. So when you work there, you can find out if it's better places for you or if that's the right fit for you. The one company that I worked for after I worked for my first company was my second company. It was a good fit for me. And I stayed there and I did a couple seasons with them. So you'll find out what works good for you. You might be a shoe in there. You might have to go somewhere else. Tracy and Plug said in Las Vegas, it's 8 a.m. here. Cool vibes, Tracy. Cool vibes. And then 215 said, when I go to Brazil, I'm going to be a Google Translator. And can't guess you're going to have to. I'm still learning. I'm still learning Spanish, and I can't see myself learning Portuguese anytime soon. No, if you're going to have to do that. But it just gets frustrated sometimes, you know what I mean? Because you really try to talk to somebody, and it gets a little frustrating. But you'll be all right. I mean, most people do it. You got no choice but to do it. Uh, let's see. JB said, when I get when I get there, I'm getting my CPF. I'm getting my CPF. When I get there, I'm getting my CPF. And the second time, time I'll do. I hear you, JB. And then the black said, do you have to get the vaccine jab before entering Brazil? Not when I came there, they didn't ask anything about any vaccine or anything. They just took my passport, asked me how long I was staying, stamped it, and I kept going. Uh, JB said, when I get there, I'm going to apply for the CPF and get, okay, get the ball rolling. Oh, yeah, JBM, because you're trying to definitely live here. I can give you one word of advice. If you're trying to make Brazil your home, I would never tell you to live in Rio and make it your home. You can go there and visit, party, hang out, go to the beach, whatever you do, museums, whatever. I would not make Rio de Janeiro my home. And you're probably like, why, Philly? Why would I not make it my home? It's too much partying. It's just too, it's too fast-paced for most people. <sighs> I would say try some other city, Sao Paulo, Salvador Bahia, whatever. But if you're going to like make JB, if you're going to make your home, I wouldn't recommend you to live in, um, in Rio de Janeiro. That's just my opinion. 215, 215 put up the uh, Patreon link, man. Make sure you guys subscribe to my Patreon. I'll give you guys some good quality content there that. It's a lot raw and a lot real that, you know, I cannot do on uh, YouTube. Uh, JB said, Florida Napoli, I'm looking at more calm and calm here. Yes, JPM, that's a good one. Florida Napoli, Sao Paulo, Salvador Bahia. Yes, you picked a good one. Florida Napoli is definitely one of the spots to live. I heard it's like the San Diego, the San Diego, the San Diego of... Uh, of Brazil, Brazil cities. That's what they tell me. So you should like it there. And they say it's a beautiful place. That's what they tell me, man. They say it's so beautiful. It's amazing. Beautiful beauty is an amazing place. They say it's definitely worth the trip there. That's what they tell me. That's what they tell me. So you you got the ball rolling. You smart, man. You smart. You're doing your thing, man. You got the ball rolling. Anything else you guys want to say about this language situation? Ah, cool cat said Philly. Have you checked out the steakhouses and do you like their sushi in Brazil? I do like their sushis in Brazil, and I have checked out a, um, a steakhouse with here, here with uh, Master Wang. We've been to places where you can eat steaks. Uh, we actually went to Outback Steak one time, and we've been to some other places. And yes, um, I tried the sushi in Brazil, and it's good. Yes, it's good. And it's actually good for me to eat sushi because it's good for my high blood pressure. I don't know. It has something that uh, sushi has in it. The different dishes have something in there that helps lower high blood pressure. So, yes, I ate a nice bit of uh, sushi on my uh, my tour here through the real amazing, vibing, interesting place of Brazil. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed.
JB said, how's the health care and 911? Well, certain places I do see a lot of police presence and stuff like that. And um, I think they have uh, international health care. So every Brazilian has health care here. But obviously, you can go private and get a lot of, you know, get, a, get you know, taken care of faster and get better health care. But every Brazilian in the country, I know they have uh, international health care for the, I mean, I say international, but uh, national health care for the whole country. So everybody has access to health care in Brazil. If I'm wrong, somebody from Brazil is watching, but that's what I was told over and over on many occasions. So it can't be a lie, but everybody has, they all have health care. But private health care is the way to go. You get taken care of a lot better than uh, going with the, the, the health care that, the, that they give to the whole country. And JBM, if you're coming from the States, make sure you get some kind of, uh, you can go online and find out what's the best international health care and make sure they have coverage here in um, Brazil and you should go with them whatever's within your budget. But I think if you get private health care in Brazil, I think they have a package that's like 100 a month. You pay 100 a month. Somebody was telling me that. So I did hear about that. You know, that's a big thing because, you know, we're getting older. Health is important. Even if you're young, health is important. You get sick at any given time. You see um, Jamie Foxx is going through it right now. Cool, said, cool Cat said... Hit up Argentina and Ace Live got some good information on spots to hit. Yes, indeed. I'm thinking about it, man. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. But long live Argentina, man. Long live Argentina, man. I know they get a bad uh, rap sometimes because of some of their history as far as with the, the slave trade and what they did with the slaves. But I have actually met, I met some real cool people from Argentina. Is he for real? Is he for real? Hold on, man. I'm about to go crazy on somebody. Is he for real? Like this is this is she, I can't. This is. Hold on, man. I'm about to. You're about to see. You're about to see the Philadelphia Philly Dom come out. You're about to see the Philadelphia Philly Dom come out. I'm about to go in. You're about to see me go in. It's calling back again. <laughs> Hold on. I got to answer this one. I'll talk real quick on the phone. Hello? Yeah, do you realize I'm on a live? I know you see the, you subscribe to my channel, right? I thought you said you wasn't subscribed to the channel no more. D the hater. I got you on the live right now. So they hear they're hearing every word you say. So make sure you uh say the right things. Okay. All right, so we talk later. We talk later. You got anything you want to say to anything you want to say to the people out there? Hi, people. She said, How you doing? That's D the hater from El Salvador. D the hater from El Salvador. This is my biggest hater. I got a couple haters out here, but this is the biggest one. She can twist anything oh my God. and make it bad for me. You have a good day. Take care, love. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Nice to you. Yeah. She's a big time hater. That's the number one hater in all of Philly Dom's uh, hater category. She's the top one. JB said 100 a month. Yeah, I want to make sure I'm good. I get... If I get sick, thanks for the information. No problem, JB. Then Sylvia, Sylvia said, yeah, a lot of foreigners feel safe here because if you need something, it's free. It can also be paid. Yes, indeed. But most of the time, the free system works for simple stuff. Sylvia, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm glad we got some Brazilians in the building that are watching. So I appreciate that. 100 percent for that information but um all is well guys make sure 
you sign up to the Patreon. So I can get you guys that exclusive footage. Hold on. Uh, Southern Creole Flavor said, speaking of seafood, do they eat conch out there? Yeah, they do. I'm sure they do. They eat conch. They eat conch. They eat everything, man. Everything we eat in the States, they eat everything we eat. JM, I don't have one right now. I don't have a travel insurance right now. JM, what travel insurance do you use? I don't have one right at this moment. I've been sick one time on the road too in uh Colombia. I was going through some problems. But uh, I went to the um I went to the hospital and I, you know I was gonna pay and they laughed at me. They like, no, this is free health care. As a matter of fact, they even let me go to the front of the line because I was American. I just, I came with my passport. I showed them my American passport. You know, you got to check in and everything. And I mean, like, I felt bad. They skipped me right away and just took me straight in the back. It was crazy. But you do need health care. You do need health care in these countries on the road. You do need health care. JM, what health care, what travel health care you have? As a traveler, it's not smart not to have travel insurance. I use safety or oh, safety wings. Is it a good one? Safety wings. Is it worth me? Is that actually the name of the company or are you trying to be funny? Safety wings. I'm going to Google it right now. Hold on. I'm Googling it right now. Hold on. Yeah, but I, I definitely need to get something. Safety wings. Let's see. I'm Googling it right now. Is that a good one? Let's see what they offer. Let's see what JM, JPN. Let's see. Make sure. Got a message. Oh, I'm, just, I'm looking at the review. I'm, I'm looking at it now. How much do you pay a month for safety wings? How much do you pay a month? I might get this one just because you got it. Because I know you double and triple check everything. Uh, I'm looking into it. JPM, how much you pay a month? I never had to use it in my travels. 50 bucks a month. So can you pay for just one whole year, one time and be done with it? Since it's 50 bucks, just pay it for the year and be done with it. I definitely might get that insurance just because you got it. Because I know you did your due diligence. I know you did your research. So I know it's good. And it's, I know it's good coverage. Does it cover you everywhere? Or what? how many countries does it cover you in? Because some some of these insurances don't cover you in certain countries. Like I could be in Haiti and it might not cover me there. Like does it what countries does it cover you in? Or can you pick? How does it work? Uh 215 said if traveling as long as I did definitely get travel insurance. I agree to what five. Oh, uh, JBM said it covers most countries because I can't see it covering you in Haiti. That's why I was asking. But as long as it covers like Brazil, Colombia, Thailand, Vietnam. What about some countries in Africa like Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, South Africa? I'm sure it covers you in Europe. I'm sure you got no problems in Europe. Australia, I'm sure you got no problems there. But thanks, man. You taught me something today. JM, I appreciate you, man. You always come in with these uh questions, I call them. These controversial questions. But yeah, you're 100 percent right. If you travel, you do need travel insurance. Because when I was working in the States, I had insurance. When I worked in Alaska, I had insurance. When I worked at other places, I had, you know, insurance. 
that's another that's a that's a topic if within itself man we might talk about that tomorrow how important is um health insurance when you travel on the road to these different countries because you got a lot of brothers you got a lot of guys a lot of people traveling and they don't have insurance and it takes me back to thinking about um charles tyler charles tyler you he was like one of the original guys that came here to um brazil he's a, put brazil on the map and made a lot of brothers that want to come down here and check it out and he had some um issues and some complications and he ended up passing away in brazil and i don't think he had health insurance uh jm said if you want to use it in the united states you have to pay more okay no it would be for something that i use abroad then silver said for how long are you staying in brazil i'm not sure my time is up pretty soon i'll be getting out of here pretty soon i don't have that much more time left in brazil sylvia but i'll definitely come back you know what i mean you got to stay out of the country for like uh i think six months or something like that and i'll definitely i'll definitely uh come back to brazil and also i'm trying to work on that uh digital nomad visa so i can have um access to the country as much as i want i can be here as long as i want for like two years with that so i'm working on that as well but yeah definitely brazil is my favorite country i love this country i mean anywhere else i travel gonna really have to bring it because i just i just like I, this place has everything anything you went to and everything and it's a, it's a lot of ground to cover there's a lot of places to go like the amazon it's a lot of ground to cover here man the, the country is big so you could never get bored it's not small like the dominican republic or something that i mean after being there for a while you pretty much know the ins and out of the whole country but here it's hard to do that because there's so much ground covered each city has their own identity i travel to different cities and they all have different identities you know sort of similar to the states our cities have different identity so uh, like right now i'm in the culture mecca right here salvador bahia is with a with a slaves landed during the slave trade this was the the first capital of brazil capoeira was started here the carnival was started here it's a lot of culture a lot of afro culture here in brazil shout out to cool cat man thank you for the super chat appreciate you for the super chat he said r.i.p to charles tyler and um yeah yusuf wat watif yes indeed man I never got the chance to talk to Charles Tyler or to know him, but I did know Yusuf Watif, and he would be proud of me right now that I'm coming out with that book because he was pushing me. He was pushing me back in the day to do something with my experience from working in Alaska because I was telling him that a lot of guys were asking me every day on a YouTube channel about working in Alaska and the seafood industry. He was like, man, you got to do something with that. And lo and behold, I link up with the one and only Master Wayne, and now he's gonna make that dream come true. They talk about the book again. <laughs> he's gonna make that dream come true. Uh J um JB said, My mom's scared for me to go. No, you'll be all right in Brazil, man. You'll be all right, man. You just follow the rules and regulations and try to keep safe and everything. You'll be cool. You'll have no problems here, man. And once again, cool cat, thank you for that $2 super chat. Also, don't forget I have a Patreon and also I have merch. You see me wearing my hats in all my videos. I'm like faithfully wearing my hats in all my videos. So support the one and only Philly Dom. Give my videos a like, share my videos, support the Philly Dom movement. I would greatly, 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 greatly appreciate it. Sewer Rap, how Chicago treating you? And also guys, let's get the likes up. Hit the like button. If you're watching this video, give it a like, support the channel, man. Come on. Hit the like button. JB JB says she's Haitian, so she, you know how it is. Yeah. And then she think you know how Haiti is, so she's thinking it's dangerous. But JB, it's a lot of Haitians here in um in Brazil as well, man. I met a lot of Haitians here lately. Not in Salvador Bahia, but when I've been in um Fort when I was in not in Fort Lazy either. When I was in um Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro, I met a lot of Haitians there. 215 said hit the like button and hit the cash app at money sign philly dom 75. silver said just 
out of curiosity, have you thought about buying property here? I what do you say? I've seen some people from other countries do that crazy. What that do that because it's worth it regarding the currency conversion. I never thought about buying property here in Brazil, but it's something to think about. I got some friends that um are thinking about getting some property here as well. But you definitely right, it's worth the conversion, the currency conversion. You're 100 percent right. Because it's five to one. One of your US dollars, one US dollar is five Brazilian dollars. So he's 100 percent right about that. One US is five Brazilian dollars. So it's definitely the way to go. It's definitely, definitely, definitely the way to go. Cool cat said, I like the fact that different brothers fall in in love with different cities in Brazil. Yes, indeed, man. Definitely. Like, I love Fortaleza. I like Salvador Bahia. Sao Paulo has grown on me. Uh, Rio, I like it. You know, it's definitely when you watch TV as a kid and you saw movies and different things. All I knew about Brazil was Rio de Janeiro with the Jesus statue and everything. Everybody, they promoted it and promoted it and promoted it and promoted it. But Brazil is bigger than just Rio de Janeiro. Brazil is definitely a lot bigger than just Rio de Janeiro. It has a lot more to offer than just Rio de Janeiro. Just checking my messages real quick. But um, yeah, everything everything is going good, man. Everything is going good. Uh, today, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I think I'm going to try to go get a haircut. And um, probably get something to eat later with Master Wayne. It's just you no know, chill day. But tonight, you know, I'm a, a big boxing fan. I'm a, I love boxing. Track and field used to be my first love, but now it's second. And boxing is my my number one love. I guess since around I don't know, around 21. That's when I started having a big love for boxing. And uh, it's a big boxing fight tonight. Um, Javante Tank Davis going to fight Ryan Garcia. So me and Master Wayne probably gonna find somewhere a bar, restaurant somewhere we can watch that fight at. If not, man, I'll just watch, try to find it on the channel on the TV we have here because we got a lot of uh, this TV has a lot of channels. So definitely the fight should be um, on one of the channels here in Brazil. So I definitely gonna take the time out to go watch that fight one way or the other. But after that, I will be recording. I probably go to um, hit the Puan to record. I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. Uh, James said, are you Team Ryan? Come on, man. You know I'm with Javante Tank Davis. Go ahead, JM. Won't you be Team Ryan? Because you know he about to get his head knocked off. Sylvia said, cool cat. I catch you. Very different vibes from the states to states. Yes, indeed. If some travel across the country, Yes, because I travel across with the contracts with the population. There's always a general sense of preferred place to be. Yes, indeed. And I feel a lot more comfortable here than I feel in um, Rio. It's a more laid back, more cool vibe. Uh, James said, what do you have against Ryan? I have nothing. I like the guy. Stop being a hater, JM. I like the guy. I ain't got no. Uh, I just he ain't gonna win the fight. That's one thing I do know. Either he gonna get, either he gonna get knocked out, or he gonna get beat up for a couple rounds. He can have it his way. Whatever he wanna, whatever, 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 whatever he want and how he wants to go out. But I know he gonna come with everything. I know he's gonna come with everything because he knows a lot is riding on this fight. So he's gonna give it his all. He's going to give it his all. He's going to give it his all. He's going to give it his all. Chen, what's going on with you? Philly Dom, all is well, man. What's going on out there in um, Costa Rica? What's going out there in the Costa? Costa Rica, what's going out there? Let me know, man. Let me know. I'll be uh, landing back in South America. I mean, Central America pretty soon. I'll be landing back over there. Uh, Chen said, it's gorgeous out here today. 
in Costa Rica. Uh, JM said, do you hand, do you hand have to pay pay-per-view in Brazil? No, it don't look like it. I don't think so, no. I know when I was in Mexico all the time, I watched the fights, they were free. And me and Master Wayne went the other day to see the fight. It was, yeah, it's free. It's free on their TV. I don't even have to answer it. I was in Rio. We saw the last fight in Rio. And that was free. What was the last big pay-per-view fight? We saw that one, and that was free. So, yes, yeah, it's free. It's free in Brazil. I think Canada, the U.S., and some places in Europe, probably Australia, some other countries, they have to pay for pay-per-view. But England, like I say, places in Europe. But it was free, JM. It was free. It was free. Yeah, plant versus uh Benavidez. I already knew Benavidez was going to win. Plant, plant held his ground, but Plant was about to get knocked out. Plant was going to get knocked out. Plant was on his way to get knocked out. And then he had to hit him in his nuts. He hit him in his nuts in that one round. I watched that fight over and over. I always go back and watch him and analyze it. He was tired. He was huffing and puffing. And just to get him off on him, he had uh, Benavides in his uh, private part, man. So, But Benavides is that man, man. He can beat everybody. Benavides is definitely that guy, man. He's definitely that guy, man. That's probably one of the top guys in boxing right now, Benavides. I got a lot of love for him. I've met him before. Um, I know boxers that know him personally. I met his dad, all that, when I was living in um, L.A. I used to go to the, um, what is it, uh, what's the gym there? What's the famous gym there in L.A., man? Freddie Roach gym. I used to go to Freddie Roach gym. Wild card, the wild card gym. Uh, J.M. said, you think Javante versus Canelo would be soon? Man, come on, J.M., why are you always cracking these jokes? You're a funny guy, man. No, that fight would never happen. They, in different weight classes, it would never happen, champ. Not even at a catch weight. That fight would never happen. Who, JM, who do you think will win between uh, or anybody in the chat? Tank or uh, Devin Haney? Who you got in that fight? Tank versus Devin Haney. Who you got in that fight? I still got to give it to Tank because I think that um, I think Kevin uh, Devin Haney would get hit with something, and that would put him on his on his back, or at least daze him up. So that's what I think. So I think Devin Haney should try to stay away from that fight, but he got a lot of heart, so I know he'll take the fight eventually. He's gonna have to fight him. He's gonna have to fight him eventually. And Shakur Stevens is a good fighter as well, man. Shakur Stevens is a good fighter, man. Yeah, if you're just tuning into the live today, we were talking about the language situation, Brazilian Portuguese versus uh, Spanish. And it's um very interesting, very interesting what people had to say. Some people think um, Portuguese is easy to learn, but overall, most people know that Spanish is a lot easier to learn and it's a lot easier on the ears. Uh, JM said, Tank has strength, but not much technique. So how do you think, uh, Jam, how do you think um, Ryan Garcia is going to exploit that tonight? How do you think he's going to exploit that situation? And don't forget, man, guys, I have a Patreon. I have a Patreon now, so you can go on there, and we can talk about exclusive stuff. I'm going to upload something today on the Patreon, a little snippet of somewhere I went, but I'm going to keep on. Um, Bringing these videos out and letting you guys know what's going on in these different countries on my YouTube channel and on my Patreon. So make sure you subscribe to the Patreon. It's only seven bucks a month. I appreciate it if you guys support me on the Patreon. I would really, really appreciate it. From the bottom of my heart, I would appreciate it. Boom. Boom. And I thank 215. But I'm putting a link up there too as well. And don't forget to hit me via Cash App. Support the channel in any way you can, man. And I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep bringing out this exclusive, exclusive footage. But um, I'm going to end this live. I'm going to get out on these streets, hit these real streets of uh, Brazil. 
Salvador Bahia, and get some content for you guys. So I will talk to you guys real soon, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Let's see what, uh, hold on one second, I'm about to end, and then somebody said something. Cool Cash said Floyd should have let Tank fight Loma a long time ago, but he is only concerned with money and his soap opera with Oscar De La Hoya, Mayweather ruined boxing. Uh, interesting, cool cat. Cool vibe, I hear you. St. John Richardson said, what's up, Philly? All is well, man, all is well, man. I was thinking about getting off the live. Maybe I'll talk a little longer because I ain't no breakfast yet. I ate some pizza last night. I'm probably gonna finish eating that pizza. I just been working on the, the second book and um, taking care of some other stuff. And then John Richardson said, how much Portuguese do you know? Very little, John. Very, 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 very little. Very little Portuguese. Very little Portuguese. I know very little, but it's getting better and better the more I stay here, the more you around it and everything you get a little better at. It. All right, I'm back. I just had to take care of message. Uh, James or how? Jam said, how you say hello in Portuguese? Are you for real, Jam, or are you just joking? Boy. Boy is high. Boy. Boy is high. <laughs> John Richardson said, oh, also Philly, I looked at the camera you told me about. It's about a little over 300. That's cool, man. You should get it. You should get that camera, man. You should get it. some messages here i'm here uh what editing software program do you use i deal with a couple of them man ravinsky um i use the actual software that's on the actual um, on the actual laptop i mean laptop has like a uh Then Adobe I use as well. It's a couple of different softwares you can use, man. I, I mix it up. But I mainly use the one that's off the actual laptop because I do basic cuts, nothing fancy with my, yeah, I use iMovie. I have like I have like four softwares on, on, my, on my laptop right now. Shout out to my boy X, Jamaica X, man. I appreciate him. He's the one that installed him on the laptop, so I appreciate him. I'm here, I'm just taking care of some messages.
Okay, JB, JB said I create tutor tutorials for coding and iMovie. Works well. I create tutorials for send me one of them, JB. I would greatly appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. And then Jonathan said, sorry to ask so many questions. I wish the audience could talk on here instead of, of typing. I know YouTube got to come up with something that you could just leave a voice message and then they could just play it instead of people typing. That would be good too, like a voice message. Like, So what do you think it is? And then you can answer the question and everybody can hear you on the live. I'm sure they're sure they coming up with one. I'm sure it's one coming up. Everybody hit me up, man. What the heck is going on? Um, JM said, "How do you, how do you say, come over? You can say come over." JM, how good is your Portuguese? JM said, JM said, my channel, JM, JB, JM. Uh, okay. Jonathan said, or like conference call, like on Zoom. Okay. The Black said, tank. JB said, my channel. Jonathan said, come on, JM. You can use Google Translate for that. JM just try to be funny, man. He just. He's under he's underground hater, man. You know, he's a hater on, on the low. He like the beginning stage of hate haterism. JB JB said, I have an app. Yo, JB, hit me up. Hit me up on IG. My IG is let's talk on IG. I got some questions for you. Second, I'm debating with somebody on the phone as I'm talking to you. Say John said, bro, what I really wanted to know is how good is the food in Brazil? The food is very good in Brazil. They have amazing food. The food is very good. Amazing food, amazing food, amazing culture, amazing people. Jonathan said, you should do a few restaurant vlogs in Brazil. Maybe today, man, we go out to eat with Master Wayne. Maybe we'll do something like that. That's interesting. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. Here's my IG for JB. There you go. Because I did one in um some restaurant blog. I did one in uh, what is it, Sao Paulo as well. Man, so many people trying to connect with me while I'm on this live. Uh, JB said, all right, thanks, bro. I'm going to follow you now. Thank you so much, champ. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Make sure you guys subscribe to my Patreon. And I got to get out and about and I got to take care of some stuff. If not, I will sit here all day and talk with you guys. But I got to hit these streets, man. The videos don't record themselves. But I will talk to you guys later. Peace, love, and happiness. And I'll see you guys in the next one.